Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, my name is Griselda. It has been a minute since I have uploaded a makeup tutorial on here. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But in today's video, I wanted to do something that was going to be super soft, super simple. It is springtime, so I want it to be spring inspired. And I also have been really loving that like semi cat eye look. So I did this look with like a, a slight cat eye-ish feel to the look. So this is what I came up with. In this video, I have partnered up with CoverGirl to talk to you guys about their clean, fresh, prep and set water mist which i have been loving and in this video i will talk to you guys about why i love it so much and how i like to use it being that i am a little bit more on the oily side because it is a hydrating mist but it also preps and sets and gives you a really nice glowy finish so without further ado let's get right into this video so next ooh, okay nope, all right nothing's changed i'm still dropping stuff <sighs> Bless me. All right, so we're gonna. Oh. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, we are going to be using the Clean Fresh Prep and Set Water Mist. I really love using this right before I do anything to my skin. Sometimes when I am fresh out of the shower, I do apply this because I hate feeling that tightness that you feel when you are out of the shower because your skin is basically screaming for hydration. This is going to help hydrate, prep, and set the whole entire face. So this is going to be like your new best friend. You can use it before, in between, or after your makeup. You can also, if you are really dry, you can carry this in your purse. This is not going to interrupt your makeup. This is just going to help bring that hydration back into the skin. So I'm going to spray this all over the face. And I really love putting a generous amount on the skin because I wanted to hydrate and I also wanted to prep at the same time. Um, if you do a few sprays here and there, I feel like it's not gonna do what it's meant to do. So I love using the cucumber scent because it's just super refreshing, especially around this time. I know it is unfortunate that we really can't be outside, but it kind of gives you that really refreshing feel to the skin. Next, we are going to prime, and for that, I'm going to be using the True Blend Base Business. This is a skin primer. You guys are probably thinking why I'm using a hydrating mist if I am oily, but I love using uh, products that are, go against each other that are gonna be beneficial to my skin because I am gonna be using a mattifying primer. So I'm gonna prime my skin with that, and the reason why I love doing this is because at the end of the day, Day, my skin still needs hydration and the reason why your skin overproduces oil is because it's needing hydration so you always want to make sure that you hydrate the skin and then you go in with the products that are going to be beneficial to your skin type so next up we're going to be using the clean fresh skin milk nourishing foundation and I'm going to be using the shade 570 which is medium tan we're going to apply that on the back of our hand I love using this foundation by itself but also love mixing it with my regular foundation if I want a little bit more cover. This foundation, it's supposed to give you that like flawless skin-like finish, which I absolutely love, but who am I kidding? I also love a medium to full coverage finished. So when I am looking for that, I do add maybe like two pumps of regular foundation on top of that. See how my skin still looks like skin but it just is a little bit more even you can see the unevenness on this side and then this side looks a little bit more even because this is a nourishing foundation that's going to hydrate usually for people that are more on the oily side they they try to run away from anything that says nourishing hydrating because they feel like it's gonna make them a little bit more oily. But I am here to let you know that you don't have to do that. As long as you properly set your makeup, your skin can look flawless and glowy in all the right areas. And I love how just youthful my skin looks when I'm wearing this by itself. It also blurs out your imperfections. Honestly, that's one of my favorite benefits from this foundation. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using the True Blend Undercover Concealer, and I'm gonna be using two shades. I'm gonna be using the Golden Amber, which is T100. And to highlight, I'm gonna be using M100, which is a golden neutral under tone so first I always go in 
to kind of color correct right underneath the eyes because with this sleeping pattern, I, what sleeping pattern? I have none, that's the problem. I go to sleep at like three, four in the morning and I am up and at it by like eight, nine, the latest. So I definitely need all the coverage that I can get. So you see how it just automatically neutralizes right underneath. To highlight, we're gonna grab the M100 and we are going to place that right underneath the eyes, the chin, the nose, just usually the high points of the face. And then just using that same sponge, I go in and just press it in. If your sponge is getting a little bit dry because I wet this earlier, I'm gonna grab the Prep and Set Water Mist and I'm just going to go ham just to kind of wet the sponge a little bit. That's another cool trick that you can do. All right, before we set anything, you wanna make sure that you put any cream products underneath uh, any powder just so it doesn't interrupt any of the setting that you've already done. We're gonna be using the Clean Fresh Cream Blush in the shade Butterflies. And I'm just going to do a little bit of that on my cheeks. And with the bottom of the sponge, I'm just going to start working it into the cheek. I also love how high pigmented these blushes are. I'm just gonna grab a translucent powder and I'm just gonna set right underneath the eyes because for me, I always have to set underneath my eyes or else I will crease. And then I just go on top of the blush to kind of set it because this is the area where I also get super, super oily and you can still see the blush underneath. So as you guys can see how beautiful and flawless my skin looks, because um, I can say that in person it looks even better. We're gonna go ahead and bring that warmthness back into the skin. And for that, I'm gonna be using the Full Spectrum. This is the Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation. Pop that right underneath the cheekbone. This is just gonna chisel the cheeks. All right, so moving on to highlight, and you guys are probably like, you said you like to use any cream products underneath your powder but this is the only thing that I love using on top of my powder because it doesn't interrupt it and that's the clean fresh cooling glow stick and this is in the shade so guilty I do love applying it with my fingers so I'm just going to pick that up and the reason why is because it warms up the product and it's going to just melt right onto the skin and we're just going to pat that in you can definitely put it underneath but I love how how glowy and dewy this makes my skin look and that's without putting anything on top of it and then with my other finger I just like to go in and just blend it out okay so moving on to the eyes we're just going to pick up a base and just prime the eyes and this is literally gonna take two shadows it's not gonna be super complicated it's gonna be super easy super effortless because that's the look that we're going for all right so first picking up a peachy orangey shade we're just gonna pick that up and apply that all over the crease and I'm just using a fluffy brush and I'm putting a generous amount of that on the crease all right so now picking up the covergirl true naked days palette we're gonna pick up this really pretty it's like a light orange color we're gonna spray that with our mist and then we're just gonna pop that right on to the lid wetting the eyeshadow is just gonna make it a lot more opaque and because it is shimmery, it's going to make it stand out more. And I always like to go in in a patting motion. And then I just go in with a clean brush and blend everything together. So now I'm just going to grab a black eyeliner. And we are going to create a small wing. And I'm not going to bring it all the way in because I want my eyes to be a little bit elongated. I'm just going to end it right in the center and then fill in the rest. All right, so for mascara, you guys probably already know what mascara I'm going to use. It's the Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara by CoverGirl. I've talked about this on all my social medias because I absolutely love this mascara. I just love how it just gives you that extra oomph that your lashes need. It gives you that lift, that curl, that fullness. It just 
gives it to you all. And when I say my favorite mascara, I mean this is my favorite mascara that I love to wear without any lashes because it just gives my lashes life, honestly. That's just... That's it, bottom line. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and I popped on some in lashes and then finished off the rest of my eye makeup. Moving on to the lips, as you guys can see, my lips are a little dry. But for that, we're gonna be using the Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Oil, which is going to not only hydrate, but it's also going to give me a little bit of tint before I do my lips. It's in the shade Fresh Squeezed. My lips automatically look and feel 100% better. You can definitely leave the lips like this, but I want the lips to be a little bit more muted. I'm going to go in with a neutral lip liner. And the best part about the tinted lip oil is that it's going to help the lip liner just glide on like butter. Now I'm going to pick up Caramel Kiss by CoverGirl. And we are just going to pop that right on top. And as you can see, the tinted lip oil also serves as a gloss because I don't even need to put a gloss on top of that. And let's not forget my beauty mark. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. Um, this is another product of mine that I absolutely love. This is like an everyday affordable uh, pencil that can you can use every day and not feel like you're breaking the bank. I just love to go in and just fill it in so the final step is to set the whole entire makeup so it lasts all day long we're gonna pick up the clean fresh prep and set water mist and we are just going to set the whole entire face all right, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Clean Fresh new line from CoverGirl. I really love what they are doing with this line, and the benefits, of course, are the best part. Not only are they affordable, but they're great for the skin. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next time.